Welcome to chapter 11. In this chapter, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the final synthesizer in this package called Simpler. So the main point of Simpler is to uh, give you an easy way to play around with the ROM sounds uh, that come with the PC3. And if you have a PC3K, you can use your own samples. If you get the uh, ROM up upgrade that's going to be coming out soon for the PC3, then you can use those as well. And so as we go through the presets here, you're going to see over in the key maps that we're using um, some of the built-in key maps. Now, of course, uh, as we went over in the last chapter, there are key maps that I've modified for use with Padman, but you can also use them in here too. So, so with Simpler, you can do um, lots of fun things, manipulating just the uh, the ROM sounds uh, and using them, you know, in different contexts and uh, for which they were designated. So let's go ahead and start with uh, FX1. Organ one, uh, pad one, pad two, Pad three. Okay, piano one. Piano two. Percussion one, strings one, and synth one. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at, at what we have going on here. So in this case, um, the first thing that's going to be important is which key map you're using. Uh, so, so you can pick, of course, any of the ROM key maps or samples that you have loaded in if you've got a PC3K or, or, or what have you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what you have as far as DSP. So um, the, the, the main uh, bits of DSP that you have to play with, you have the sign plus block into X gain. So you have, first of all, this bit of AM that you can use. Uh, it's you're also doing some AM with the sample against itself because this is sine plus. So you're going to have the key map going through here plus sine into X gain plus you're going to have just the key map going into X gain. So that that um, provides a little bit of a twist on this. And then wrap it into the gain and then finally into a four pole low pass filter. So in the next section we're going to go over what the sliders do and what the other controls do and how you can use them to manipulate these samples that make your own sounds. Let's now spend some time going over what the sliders do in uh, Simpler and the other controls. Okay, so Simpler I designed as a uh, sort of as this template thing where you could load up any key map and you could then play with the key map. So let me go ahead and, and, and start, first of all, with um, the, uh, the DSP that's available for uh, manipulating the basic sound, and then we'll go on and, and examine the things that you can do with the envelope. Uh, that's applied to the key map. Okay, so first of all, um, sliders D and E control the filter. This is a Moog 4-pole four four low-pass filter. So let me go ahead. I have a timpani sample loaded up right now. So let me bring up slider D, which is cut off. And we'll bring resonance up, bring it up and down a little bit. Okay, so the, the uh, three things that you really have control over is you have this AM modulation pitch, okay? You have this X gain level, okay, that's going to, to um, kind of, it, 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 it controls both the overall level of the sound, so see so you can hear that a lot better now.
and at the same time, it also kind of controls the depth of the AM, uh, the amplitude modulation that's being applied to the sound. So slider C then controls wrap amount. Now, let me turn this down. Wrap on samples can be very, very harsh, uh, unless they're very, they're, they're, they're simple sort of basic sounds. I know some people are into that, and that's why I um, have it in here, because you can really, you know, get some nasty sort of stuff. Kind of very industrial sounding sorts of things if you're using uh, lots of it. Okay, so so that's the basic sort of DSP that you have available. Okay, now sliders F, G, and H control attack, decay, and release. Okay, but there's actually two envelopes uh, or two modes to the envelope. Okay, with this, with S, W off, you are playing the sound. Um, through to its loop point, and then it's just going to keep looping over and over and over again. So you can control it, the envelope, with, uh, let's see, let's get a little bit more gain here so you can hear what's going on. Okay. You can control the envelope, attack, decay, and release, uh, like you would with any other synth sound. Okay, if I turn on SW, okay, and turn these all down, what you're going to hear is the natural envelope that's applied to the sample, or to the key map. So what you're hearing is the natural envelope. These sliders still work though, so I can adjust the attack of the natural envelope, I can adjust the decay of the natural envelope, and I can adjust the release of the natural envelope. If the natural envelope is such that it sustains forever, for instance if you're using a single cycle waveform key map, then, then this is going to have an, uh, a much more of an effect. Okay, and then slider I controls um, reverb level, and finally Mod wheel here controls vibrato. So as I've been playing around here, this is remember this is a timpani sound, okay, and it's so so we can do lots of um, lots of things with this timpani sound that are not very timpani like. So let's go ahead and turn on monophonic response, portamento. So you can do lots of unholy things to samples, like make strat clavs and you know all those things that we hate from the 90s. But you can also use this in lots of creative ways to make other sounds that I think are also uh, interesting and valid as sounds. Okay, so that's the end of uh, the tour through all of the instruments that are available, or all of the uh, synth models that are available in NXT 1.0. In the next chapter, we're going to go over mods and other tricks and just some uh, general guidelines and, and, and fun things that you can do with these beyond what I've already programmed into the sounds and, and how to, you know, modify the things that I give you in this package and, and really make them your own as beyond just manipulating the sliders and controls that I've already mapped. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next chapter.